Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a fun one. I have five drugstore products that I think you should try and one you definitely should not. If you are loving this makeup look, I did film a, I think I'm going to put it up before this video. If not, it will be coming. A look, get ready with me, chit chat style. It's a throwback to a palette we probably all already own and most of us own anyways. I'm doing a throwback series on my channel just to get us reintroduced to the things that we originally fell in love with. The sun is coming through and wow, we suddenly just got real bright. If you are new and just stopping by, please subscribe. Follow me below and on my social medias and let's roll right into this. So let's start off with what you should try. We'll save the dud for a little bit later. So the first thing that I think you should try absolutely completely blown away by this foundation and I did do an entire review on it if you want to know all the specific reasons how it lasts a full demo a full check-ins throughout the day check that out but here is the physicians formula the healthy foundation is what it is called I mean just look at the packaging the packaging drugstore I mean they nailed it you want to talk about creating something that really mimics what is available in higher-end stores They've done it. I just think it is absolutely beautiful. But the product also is really great. If you are in the market looking for something that is going to be lighter weight coming up for summer, this is going to be it. If you're looking for something that's going to give you a very skin-like finish and remain that way all day long, this is, this is the winner. It also has SPF in it, which is great. Now, I don't completely rely on SPF in a foundation. I like to get my SPF other places, but it is nice that it's an added bonus. It brightens your skin. It makes it look healthy. I mean, it really does. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid in it, so it is very hydrating. Those of you who suffer with dry skin, ooh, give this a go. Normal skin, I'm normal to combo, and I can still wear this. If you're really oily, this might not be the answer. However, I still think maybe try it and mix it in with something else to maybe kind of give life to a foundation that's maybe a little bit more matte. If you still like full coverage, perhaps mix just a little bit of this in to give that full coverage a little bit more of a skin-like appearance. That's my kind of trick for wearing a very matte foundation because a very matte foundation absolutely gives you a flawless canvas to work with. But it can also give you very heavy foundation. It can lead to perhaps a little bit of a cake face situation. I like my face to look very much like skin. And this is it, formulated for all skin types. So that being said, if you do have oily skin, I would still give this a go. It gets a huge stamp of approval from me. Next, I have a product that really surprised me. Now, I did not go out and purchase this myself. Pixi sent this to me. If you are not familiar with Pixi, they are a drugstore skincare brand, but they also have makeup as well, which a lot of their makeup is pretty good too. Um, this is the Rose Caviar Essence. It is a moisture serum. It looks like this. It smells like roses. I have thoroughly been impressed with Pixie's skincare line. I have tried several different things from the line now. And for a drugstore price point, it does get the job done. If you're not one that wants to splurge on skincare, maybe it's not in your budget, this is a wonderful option because it gives you results without you having to spend just oodles and oodles of money. So this serum is weightless. It's very, very lightweight. It's hydrating. It adds brightness to the skin. I've been enjoying putting this on before my moisturizer in the daytime because it's a very lightweight serum. So if you're looking for something to just kind of boost your moisturizer, maybe your skin just needs a little bit more hydration, or you're struggling with your foundations not really blending into your skin right now, perhaps you need some more moisture, our skins go through ups and downs, as you know, the times of year, the, the weather, everything like that. Sometimes I need more moisture. Oftentimes when I'm wearing a matte foundation, I get a little bit dry throughout the day. And that's because a lot of makeup finishing sprays and those matte foundations have alcohol in them. And alcohol is really drying. It literally dehydrates your skin. So then I get dry patches and my skin just feels really tight after I take my makeup off at night. So I really like including a serum just kind of help rehydrate the skin. Another way that I've been enjoying this is down here on my decollete and my neck. Don't neglect those areas. I mean, we all take care of our face, right? Because that's what you see. 
But this also shows age and sun damage and all that kind of thing. And when you want to show this, like in a t-shirt or in a shirt like this, you don't want to be having dry skin and all that. So putting on a serum like this, it's lighter weight. It doesn't stick to your clothes and make your clothes all greasy like some moisturizers can do. So that's where I've been primarily focusing this is on my neck and my decollete. So this product works really well to boost that hydration not only on your face but your neck and decollete as well. I'm absolutely shocked how much I love this product. So I have been using the Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion for about the past nine months or so and suddenly it is literally drying on my eyelids, giving me dry patches that are otherwise not there. It's not blending. It's just not working for me. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to go to the drugstore and I'm going to try to find something that's a little bit cheaper. Or actually, it'd be a lot of it cheaper. And this eyeshadow primer by Milani is so fabulous. I had, I mean, I had a lot of shadow on the other day. I wore my makeup for 10 hours. My shadow never creased. It didn't even fade. I was, I was absolutely shocked. I'm like, you know what? I am no longer going to be forking out 20 some dollars for an eyeshadow primer. When this one, I think, I want to say this is around five, six dollars, it gets the job done. Mm -hmm. Now, it, this is the shade 01 Nude. I'm not familiar if there's like other colors in this, but this basically blends out clear on my eyes. I mean, it looks, let me give you a little squirt of this. It looks like it might offer just a bit of color to the eyelids, but once you blend that out, it becomes sheer. The consistency on this though is very lightweight. It almost feels kind of hydrating, which might scare some of you. I guess I should have checked the ingredients first, but it just, it feels nice on the eyelids. It it dries down to a, just like a matte, not like a matte, but just like a natural finish. It doesn't have any like glowiness or anything to it. It just feels good when you're applying it. It's not dry. I guess in comparison to the Urban Decay one, this one feels so much more hydrated. It glides a lot better than the Urban Decay one, which was a lot of it. It's a thicker formula. It's more like, almost like pasty compared to this, which is more of like a serum consistency. I mean, you guys, you should try this. I think you'd really love it. So I have three things left. One is a fail and two are, two are really good. I've never tried anything from the brand Catrice, and I was at Ulta the other day because I've been there every other day this week, no lie, telling the truth, <laughs> and they had buy two, get one free from the brand, and so I'm like, well, this is a great opportunity to pick up a few things to try, so I did. The first thing that I picked up is the Catrice Camouflage Cream. It looks like this. It's a pot concealer. Now, I have not used this under my eyes. However, I don't like to put something thick underneath my eyes because now that I'm in my 30s, I'm not in my 20s anymore, I can't put really thick, heavy things under there because it will just emphasize every single fine line that I have and make you, I mean, it'll age you 60 years. True story. So this comes in three shades. I bought the shade Ivory. On the back, it says concealer cream with full coverage. Mm -hmm. I will let you know that I bought this to conceal blemishes. I have a couple like brown spots on the side of my face now from sun damage and sometimes I like to cover that up if I'm doing a more full coverage look because otherwise it looks like I have a brown spot just kind of chill in there. So I bought this with the full intention of just concealing blemishes. Sometimes I'll leave me at blemishes on my neck and underneath here. I really like this. It is very creamy. There's a, there's a swatch of it. It's very creamy. This ivory shade, as you can see, matches my skin tone really well. I would go probably, if I'm going to be out in the summer, like this summer I'll probably go and buy the next shade up because this probably will become a little bit too light. It blends out really nice. It doesn't stay tacky. It really adheres nicely to the skin. And I would say you got to do a couple layers to get the full coverage claim because if you just do like finger, tap, 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 you can still see it through. So I would do a couple layers. Now, if you use a brush, you can get more product applied than just your finger where the, the product is spread out over more of a um, circumference. Is that a word? That is a word. You know what I mean? Like, you can just get a, uh, what's the word? You can get a fuller coverage with a brush versus your finger. But I would say give this a try if you are someone who's looking for something to cover up those blemishes or sometimes things pop up in the morning that we weren't expecting um, and we want to camouflage them. So this Catrice Camouflage Cream gets a two thumbs up from me. 
Next, I wanted to try, and I have a video in the works where I'm going to be giving a review on all of the drugstore concealers I have ever tried and I own. So that video is in the works. So of course, me being new to Catrice, I had to pick up their concealer. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is what it looks like. It even says in a little sticker right here, as you can see, waterproof. I have not tested that claim because, well, mm -hmm. I, I don't go out in the rain. I should dance in the rain more often. We really should. Just take those times to just go crazy. Um, and I don't wear makeup when I go swimming or that kind of thing. But I suppose if you're going to have a good cry or go to a funeral or something really sad or whatever, um, <laughs> maybe that, that would be a good time to dig out this concealer. But let me break it down for you. First of all, it came in three shades, which I thought the shade range was not good. So that's the one downside I would say about this. At Ulta, they only have three shades, I should say. Maybe they have more online. Or elsewhere but at Ulta they had three shades they all looked relatively similar one the the lighter shade than this was porcelain I believe and it was more of a pink undertone really light almost white and the one up from this I believe was called light beige and it was slightly more yellow undertone which that one is probably gonna be the most universal shade for most people I bought the shade number five light natural let me give you a swatch of this so you can see it's pretty light, but it works for me because it doesn't have the pink undertone or the yellow undertone, neither of which I prefer. I prefer something that's just a little bit more skin-like in that neutral zone. So here's the deal with this. It gives full coverage in a formula that's very lightweight, not thick, very liquidy. Like when they say liquid cam camouflage, it really is more of a liquidy concealer, whereas the not liquidy like the Bare Minerals Bare Serum, where that's a very serum, almost like slick, like a little more oily, slick feeling. This is like just a nice glide-on liquid concealer. And within just this little swatch, it does offer a lot of coverage, but not thick, heavy coverage like Shape Tape would be. This just, it's a lightweight, full coverage. I'm really impressed with this. I gravitate towards a fuller coverage, sorry, text message. Um, I gravitate towards a fuller coverage concealer when I'm wearing a fuller coverage foundation like I am today. Now when I wear a lighter coverage foundation, I prefer a lighter coverage concealer. So having that full coverage option within a lightweight formula I think is perfect, perfect. Now you could also spot conceal with this, it's not as thick as a cream would be. It's formulated, obviously, uh, to wear underneath your eyes where you don't want something too thick and heavy because it will just settle. Oh my gosh, if you, if unless you're a baby or you are like 20 years old and you have no lines, um, I would never try to put this underneath my eyes. But this, you could definitely get away with. This gets my definite recommendation. This last thing is don't, okay, there's things I like about it and there's a huge, huge thing I do not like about it. So the last thing that I bought from Catrice is my fail, is my thing I don't recommend. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Red Base. It looks like this. So let me tell you the story as to why I bought this. I'm sitting there, buy two, get one free. I like to try face products. I really have so much like makeup as far as lip products and all that right now that I'm like, you know what? I like to try some face products. So they had three primers to choose from. One was mattifying, one was luminosity, and one was anti-redness. You know, your basic primers that you see in most lines. So what caught my eye on this was that it neutralizes redness, yes. It says long-lasting and hydrating. I'm like, well, that sounds great. It sounds like it's going to give me three things that I really need. I mean, without all this makeup on, I do have a lot of freckling going on. Um, but I do have a lot of, like, redness. Just, I don't know if it's just skin irritation, if it's food allergies. It's probably just a accumulation of a lot of different things. And so I thought this might be great to kind of spot those areas that are really red. And then when I go in with my foundation, my foundation will make everything just look so much better and my redness won't peek through. Okay, so when this comes out, it is very green. Like it's a beautiful color. I love this color in a shirt and a nail polish. I love this color maybe on my wall, maybe as an accent color. Okay, did you see? I didn't even put that much. Do you see what's happening? You guessed it. My hand's turning green. Mmm, that's pretty. 
Maybe for like a full body mask, like you know those people that paint their bodies, wouldn't that be fun? I'd like to try that. I mean, I don't want to leave my house because that would be kind of freaky, but if someone were to paint my body and I looked like something else, that's cool, okay? But now my face is green, right? And that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to conceal the redness. And I'll tell you, this feels very hydrating. I love the consistency of this. It almost feels like a light, very lightweight moisturizer. It feels very nice on the hand, comforting, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I put it on my face. I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, my face is green. And this was a day where I just so happened to be filming. And I'm like, I can't go on camera. My face looks gray. It looks green. Yeah, so that's the problem with this is that you go over this with foundation, your hand still looks gray. This literally changed the color of my foundation. So this didn't neutralize the redness. It turned my face green. And then when I applied my foundation, my whole face was gray. So I don't recommend this because it may mask some redness, but you no longer look human. You look very sick. You look like you're dying from some really awful internal organ disease. So I would not recommend this. If you're looking for something anti-redness, I know that there is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. That's not green. Um, perhaps there's another red product, out, anti-redness product out there that would work better. This, no. I mean, unless you want to look like this, I, I just don't recommend it. You know what, this might be a good booster for Halloween. Like if you're gonna paint your face green, this would be a good booster because it's already gonna give you a pretty good base to build upon. So there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am really having some fun finding some new products at the drugstore and I have so many more reviews coming at you. And don't forget to check out this video if you enjoy this look and you kinda feel like carrying on, keep on chatting with me. It's very chit chatty. Get ready with me style, which is my style. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, give this video a huge thumbs up, share it with all of your friends, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I hope you guys have a very wonderful, blessed day, and we will chat very soon. Bye, guys.